What's up YouTube? Welcome to the Accurate Garage. Today I am going to be changing the subwoofer in this enclosure. This is out of a 2010 Acura TSX wagon without navigation. So this is the base model. This won't have an amplifier inside. Gotta get all these screws out. We're gonna be attempting to install this 8 inch subwoofer. We know we need a slim sub and also our bracket. This is the metal one, so it's super thin. So everything should go according to plan. I will later on film a video on how to get this out of your car. We have instructions I can send to you if you're looking for it, but it is complex and annoying to get this out. And I don't know if this is gonna be worth it or not. We won't be able to test it. Uh, but if you ever wondered how to do this, I hope this video helps you, so let me get started. So first, let's just get all these screws out of here. The enclosure is held together with a bunch of these screws. I want to say there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There's 15 of these you have to remove. This is what they look like. So let me get all those out. All our screws out. We're able to just lift this up and out. And then leave this face down like that so none of the screws come out. And here's the factory sub. So on here is a single 2 ohm voice coil sub. So on the base. I don't know about the tech package. We have to open one up, but on the base model, this doesn't have a built-in amp. It would go right here. It just goes straight to the woofer. And this is a single two ohm woofer, as you can see from that mark. This is a dual four ohm woofer, so we can wire it in parallel to two ohms. And we're going to install it in this location. So, so let's get this one out first. So our terminals do look to be soldered on on both ends so we are going to have to cut these or do something with them to get them out because they are soldered on to actually remove the subwoofer it's just four additional phillips screws so all right so now with those out of the way i can lift the subwoofer out and now I'm going to unsolder these real quick. All right, so here's the factory subwoofer fully removed. And this looks exactly like the same subwoofer that's inside your regular 2011, 12, 13, 14 Acura TSX mounted on the rear deck. The bolt pattern looks the same. It looks like they just mounted inside this way instead. So now we're going to test two things. We're going to test to make sure that our bracket lines up correctly. So. I'm super excited to show you this. Um, I think this is the first time anyone's seen this on video, so. Don't know. So they're anodized aluminum and they're tapped so that these screws right here fit in with no problem. So you're just gonna come on, come on. There we go. So there's the bracket, that's how the screw goes. So let's make sure this lines up correctly. It looks like we're going to need washers, though. That's the only thing. So it looks like we're good when it comes to mounting. But like I said, we're going to need those washers. Nope. Actually, there's one thing in our way. So right here, this is the part that's supposed to line up with this. And because of this tooth sticks up, it doesn't allow this to sit flat. So we're just going to cut this flush. And we'll use a pair of flush cutters for that. But I think maybe if I rotate it, I can get away from it. Let me see yeah I think with that rotation I should be able to make it through we'll see I'll let you guys know in the end after I mount all right so kicker has the comp R series this is the comp RT series you can see right here and what's different from this with the comp R is that it's a lot slimmer so you can see we're right at the same footprint as this woofer so it should fit in our enclosure with no problem but I'm gonna do that test now So that looks good so far. And then we attempt to put this back down. No, see, we're not leveling out. There's something else in the way. Let me see what else is there. Yeah, it's just, this has a ring that comes and creates like a edge. This woofer doesn't. So, right along and i can't show you without losing all my screws but right along this edge i know it's hard right here right along this edge this is hitting so it's not going to allow me to seal 
Yeah, it's not. Even if I force, it's not gonna happen. So let me grab a different woofer. So I went and got two other woofers that are smaller. This is the subwoofer we plan to launch. Uh, I really like this woofer. It's gonna probably launch beginning of next year. Single two ohm voice coil, neodymium magnet, carbon fiber um, cone, and then it should fit. Then we have this scar. This has been part of our testing series for a while. This really isn't a subwoofer, it's more of a mid range, um, but it is very shallow. You can see neodymium magnet as well, very shallow. Um, so we'll test this as well, see which one fits. Uh, we're gonna start with this one though. So mounted, let's put this cover back on and make sure that it will close. Nope, so, so our woofer, even though it is slimmer, it is too tall compared to the other woofer, so it's still not clearing. So we're going to need to, need to grab the scar. Now here, I'll show you the scar compared to the OEM. So you can see the final height is right around the same. So I believe this is right at four inches. It's like 3.7, 3.5. So I'm gonna throw this in there. All right, so that's in there. Now let's see if this closes. Yep, so that closed with no problem. Let me show you the tolerance, how tight it is. So obviously this scar woofer isn't my first choice, but there are other woofers that will work. But you can kind of see, let me grab some light tolerances. Look at them coming down. Um, it's like just, it like touches the back. So it's like touching right here. But something like this will work. Let me just measure for you the exact height. And remember, we still need to add our bracket, so don't count your horses yet. So let me measure this exact height. Come on, stop twisting. So we're right in front of us, our exact height. It's just, I would say like just at three inches or a little bit more. And then let me grab the OEM woofer. The OEM woofer is just a, like three and a half. So it's gonna take something about that small to work in this environment. I think Audio Frog has a good option for this. Uh, but I'll see at the end of the video. I'll do some research for you and throw up some options on the screen that should work But right, let's get this mounted and we'll see how it sounds Normally, when we mount the subwoofer we slide the subwoofer into the bracket We line up the holes and we screw it down the problem with doing it this way is when we go to put it this way There's going to be a gap. So I'll show you so look at that big gap Between the bracket and where it's supposed to screw to so we can't have that big gap it's gonna push us up more and it's not gonna allow us to use a factory hardware. So what we wanna do is install it this way instead, where we feed the screws from the back to the front and then can mount this like this. I don't know if these screws are gonna work for that purpose. I do have other screws that are long enough that should work, but I'm gonna test it all out and I'll show you when it's done. So I got my SCAR woofer mounted onto the bracket and it actually has the SKR um indication to let you know that you're going to use the four outer holes that line up with these tabs to mount it and you can see it's nice and secure in there and now it's not going anywhere it's metal on metal now i can line this up and bring it there and put these screws back in the only thing i'm nervous about is that our screw holes are a little bit bigger than this so this could possibly you see go through so you, we might use a washer, we'll see how it works. I think because of the way we're gonna mount it, it's going to end up putting pressure on the sides and it'll all work out. But let me get that done. I got it all mounted. I'm just tightening my screws now. You always wanna tighten by hand, you don't wanna tighten um, with a gun because you could possibly destroy the plastic. So now it's in there and you can see it all in its glory. It's not going anywhere. We just have to, it's got to put our wire in there. So I'm just going to strip a little bit of wire. Put this and this. So now I'm just going to put our wires into here. I'm going to put our cap back on, make sure everything seals the way it's supposed to. Perfect. So now we're gonna screw everything down. Our screws are in. Let's see if you can see. Yeah, you can see the SCAR logo. I'll see if I can show it to you. So right in there, you can see it's a SCAR. I don't know if you could, mm, hopefully you can see that on video. But, all right, let's see what it sounds like. 
We don't have a crazy setup here for sound. All we're gonna do is play a test tone uh, close to full volume around like 30 hertz or so and see what kind of sound we get. So we know the woofer works. That's gonna wrap up the video, guys. There wasn't really much to it. I just wanted to show you how to take this apart, how to install the woofer in there. I'm gonna throw up some images now of woofers that would make sense. This car woofer doesn't, it's a loudspeaker. It's four ohm final impedance. Remember, the factory sub was two ohms, so we want something that's two ohms. Um, I don't know if this upgrade is gonna be worth it. I'd like to see what you guys think and people who have a wagon, I'd like to see what you have done. So leave it down in the comments and stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching.